Whether you're a student looking to revise different topics or a business person with different tasks and projects, you'll still need some sort of calendar or timetable to organize yourself. <laughs> In this video, I'm gonna create a revision timetable from scratch that you can chop and change and adjust to your needs. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. To start with, what we're gonna do is create an inline table by using the slash command and typing in table. You can name this table whatever you want. I'm gonna use timetable. If you're using this for revision purposes, maybe you wanna put each topic down the side as an individual page. Or maybe you're part of a business and you'd want to use this as more of a CRM system, you'd want to put your clients down the side. Now there's always two default columns that I'll put in whenever you create a database in Notion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the tags column into a date column and then rename it last reviewed. What I'm now going to do is put in some placeholder dates just so all the formulas we're going to make work. But when you're actually using this, make sure it's the actual date that you last reviewed the topic or the date that you last spoke to the client. I'm now gonna change the file column to stage and that's gonna be a select option. And from here, you can create a list of things to identify what stage you're at. So maybe if you're a student, you put some stars to say you did well in that revision or no stars because you didn't do very well. There are loads of different shortcuts you can use on Notion to bring up the emoji box and different ways to get around Notion. And I did a video on that over here but I put the shortcut for the emoji menu on screen now. You can use any emoji you want, you can start typing in things and it will show you the emojis that relate to whatever word you've typed in. Or you could simply just have a word, which could identify the stage at which that client is along your pipeline. Now we're gonna create another column called importance. Now this is also going to be a select column, but this is a shortcut to speed things up. Because it is a multi-select, it doesn't close down the menu when you want to input another piece of data. So I can now go along, type in all the numbers and push enter after each number, which will create its own select menu. But because it's a multi-select, it won't throw me out of the box. Now I've got all of those numbers in my list. I'm gonna push the delete to get it out of that page, but it's still in the list. Now I'm gonna change the property type from multi-select to just select. And the menu has stayed the same, but now I can only select one thing in that box rather than all 10, which is what we wanted in the first place. Now we're going to create another column, but this time it's going to be a formula column. And we're going to call it date elapsed. Now we're going to use the date between formula, which basically tells us the difference between two dates. So we're going to put in now open bracket close bracket which is today's date and then we're going to select the property that we've just put in last reviewed and we're going to ask the formula to tell us the difference in days we're going to close the bracket to finish the formula so what we've asked it to do is what is the difference between now last reviewed and please tell me in days and what this does is give us a number. And as you can see, one of those days is actually in front of now, which is why it's minus. This could be used as like a countdown towards revision. We're now gonna add another formula column, and this is going to be a date review column. We're gonna use the date add formula this time. What this formula does is we give it a date, we give it a number, and then we tell it what that number represents. So it could be years, months, weeks, or days. So the date we want to give it is last reviewed. For this example, I'm gonna put seven because I want to review the topic and speak to the client in seven days. And because I put it in days, I put days. If I wanted weeks, I could have put one and then weeks, and it would have given me the same output. So as you can see, last reviewed was the 14th, and revision date is 21 because it's added seven days to 14. And it's done that for each individual row. This is a database so you can filter, sort, add relations, do roll-ups, and there's more explanation in this video over here. I'll see you there.